Hello everyone and welcome back. This is episode 11 and I really don't know what I'm doing today. That's not because I don't have a plan. It's because I have lots of plans and I don't know which one to pick. When I'm being indecisive like this, I tend to procrastinate. And I do lots of little jobs that I think are going to be really, really useful. Or I tell myself are going to be really, really useful. But they're not. So, for example, I crafted every dye colour. I've dyed my sheep all of those colours. And I've been stocking up on coloured wool. I don't need coloured wool. I'm building a basic starter village out of cobble and oak. I also fed my chickens. I, I never do that. I don't I don't need chickens. Why, why am I doing this? I'll chop down a lot of trees. I'm good for wood. I don't know why I'm doing this. I then jumped into a ravine because I saw an abandoned mine shaft and I explored that. I don't need any more stuff. I don't know why I did this. But I did find three spawners and each of the chests had golden apples in. But at this stage in the game, do I need any more? No, probably not. I then found four and a half stacks of coal ore. So I built that into a pile and fortuned it. And then I came to put it back and I found another six stacks. So obviously I had to do that as well. But I think it's about time I did something actually productive now. So if we just have a look at this map, I'll try and explain what's going on. So I don't think I've shown this on camera yet. I did, th I did this in the last episode, I believe, but I didn't actually talk about it. It was just there behind me. So this here, obviously is the village and this is where we are now in the storage area this is the blacksmith my start house and the barn and i think i've got the, the gate is there and there so this is the back gate this line here is the minimum of where the perimeter will go to so it will probably come a little bit further this way and then down here is the badlands biome so what i want to do some some of the possible projects for today is either build the towers on this gate so i want this to be a bit more elaborate than what we've got on the other one uh, i could also do some terraforming so i want to there's a big hill here and what i want to do is have a path that comes out and this will be in the way so i want to build all this land up knock some of this down and then there's the ravine here so i want to do is build fill a line and then have the path come down here and then it'll split off here because there'll be another road because going to the Badlands because I'm planning on having another village slash town slash mining settlement over there. So there's going to be a bridge here. So that's another one of the possible projects. And then the other things that will be going in the village, I want on this side here, I think I'm going to have like a stables and maybe a tavern above it. And then also in the middle here, this is going to be hopefully the main feature of this village is a uh, like the automated honey farm but then i have like a warehouse behind it because i've got a lot of space here this path doesn't have to stay uh, and i've got this space here as well which will probably be like another a guard tower or barracks kind of thing but this isn't going to be like a heavily fortified village so that that might not happen but uh i think what i want to do to get started is take some of my brand new wool i didn't need all these colors but i'm going to take these ones and use them as markers Right, so to get this started, I've marked out one side of the gatehouse, I'm just using the blue wool. And then from there, I've just coming out of the front gate, and I've switched over to cobblestone, and I'm marking out where the path is going to be going. And then just around here, I'm digging out some of the trees and some of this hill, because uh, as you can see, there's quite a lot of it. And from this angle, it's, it's very obvious that that hill on the left needs to go because it doesn't really make much sense in this area so i'm just marking out the path now i'm probably gonna have a lot of farmland around here and then that ravine that i'm bridging over now is going to be filled in so it'll just that'll all be dirt and farmland but the the river is staying so i'm marking out where the bridge is going to be going and i'm trying to come up with a few designs for that at the moment but i won't be building this one today so the next bit is just another path which will go over to the Badlands, but I'm not entirely sure where that's going at the moment. So that is just to remind me to actually put that in. And then moving back over into the village, I'm just going to mark out the other side of the gatehouse. And then 
building off of that so it'll be connected I'm going to have the stables along this side so I think it would be four uh, three wide sections and then over at the other side I'll fill in some of this land because it's looking a bit rough at the moment and then over here I've got the gate to the warehouse and then another building at the side of it and then just building back where the warehouse is going to go so it's quite a large building should have some interesting stuff in there and then marking out the front I was going to have this as where the farms were going to go uh, but I don't think it's quite big enough so moving over again to the section at the back I'm going to mark out another building here which is much bigger and I think this is where I'm going to have my automated farms and then that's right next to the warehouse and then I have more of a decorative building at the front I'm just digging out this path because I'm going to replace all that with cobblestone Right, so there's the path in, and it's looking pretty cool. I like how this is looking. Obviously, it doesn't really match what we've got going on everywhere else, but I'm going to start bringing the the greys and the stones into the into the other path, so it all fits in with this. Because I think with like the idea behind this is that this is a warehouse here, and you're going to have carts and horses going out of here, and it, obviously you need it a bit more, a bit more steady than just a a grass path so the next thing to do is decide on the project for today and i think i've narrowed it down to two because a lot of the others rely on having the gatehouse done so the stables are running off the, the tower on this side and then all of these buildings are running off this one so i definitely need to get this done before i can do any of these so that narrows it down quite a lot and the other one is getting the terraforming done, which I am a big fan of, but it's a really, really big project and I don't have tons of time left. So I think what I'm going to do today is get on with this gatehouse and I th I'm probably going to do a lot of it on camera as well, or at least some of it because I do a lot of time lapses, which are great and I love watching time lapses, but I never do any building on camera. So let's see how that goes. I may switch to a time lapse halfway through and I'm sure I will. So first things first, I'm just going to take this down so we can see what we're working with. I'm going to start building this and it's going to be in a similar style to what we've got already. So there's going to be a lot of oak and cobblestone, as you'd expect. Just get rid of this. Uh, I think the other. Right, so that's the complete basic frame of this side. And I've left this one in because that's how it's going to look anyway. So if we just get a bit more of this built up and we can see what we're working with obviously start off with the cobble it's going to be cobble all the way around and then we're going to later on we'll mix in the the andesite and the stone and whatever else we fancy maybe some mossy cobble things like that but for now we'll just stick with the base block and then we can mix the others in later on with this one as well i'm doing something i haven't done yet um and it's to have the the pillars not flush with the wall but coming out by one and a lot of people like doing this uh, and i haven't done it yet in these builds and i do like doing it it's just i don't think it works for everything and because this is more of a, a defensive structure i thought it'd make a bit more sense to have this like this i also think it doesn't re re really work that well for smaller buildings which is a bit strange because this is probably the smallest building i've done so far and this is where i've started to use it but i think it works so let's see how it looks okay so i'm gonna to have to move this wall a little bit again right no end of that we're not building paths come on focus right so i think that could work pretty well now the next part of this i'm going to have it a little bit like the starter house over here it's gonna be the, the peaked roofs but it's not gonna be anywhere as crazy as this it's probably just gonna be the the just the standard stairs have i got any like that yeah i like this kind of thing here actually so i'm gonna get that built up and i'll be right back okay so now made a little bit of progress i've just uh, put a little bit of detail in on this on the sides here so it's got the stair blocks and the slab in the middle and then i'm just putting these in here because i've got these 
supports on the side and then on the second level we're just going to go straight up with the oak logs so the frame is a bit more or exactly like this so it's flush with the walls all right let's get some planks get these in here so what i'm going to do for the second layer is oak planks and i'm going to come back and mix in the uh, stripped oak logs but for now again i'll just stick with the base block okay texture later all right so for the roof i'm just keeping it nice and simple just a standard peaks roof all stairs uh, and i'm not doing any texturing just yet i'll probably do that after i've got everything built up okay so that's the roof on and i think that's looking pretty cool now obviously uh, it needs a bit of texture variation but i think for the basic shape that looks pretty good now over here and what i'm going to do i'm going to take this straight across and this is going to go into the tower at this side so we have a way of getting between the two so all these buildings are going to be interconnected so we've got the warehouse the stables and then the gatehouse and then there's going to be paths in between much like i've done with the bridge up here i like i like having that way of getting around the, the like little rat runs and secret entrances and that kind of thing so i think what i need to do now on this is just get a little bit of texture variation going and i'll just talk you through how i do that um so cobble is the base block i'm using here and i think one that goes really well with it is just the plain old and andesite so it's just a it's, sli it's slightly different but it just works really well with it so i try not to create any patterns and so much so that if i accidentally do create a pattern like if something's looking too symmetrical like that just by accident i'll definitely take it out and replace it and i think that is going to be good enough for what i want here because i'm going to have i've got some leaves obviously i can't build without leaves so that's going to be spreading around here so the i don't have to go too crazy with this it's just a just so it's not one big mass of cobblestone which there's nothing wrong with cobblestone but i think you need to vary things up so i think it's that time i said it would happen it's time for a time lapse so i'm gonna get on with that now and get this project complete Right, so there we are that is the gatehouse complete and i really like the look of this but i've made a couple of mistakes and i need to get these fixed before anyone tells me off for it so up there i've missed some stair blocks not good enough and i've also done the same thing around the back just here what was i thinking i only noticed that after i rendered the time lapse so i had to fix it so let's get this done now that's that done and that's the front finished so let's just take a step back and have a look at this in all its glory. I decided to leave the shaders on because, you know, it looks amazing. So, obviously got a lot more work to do down here. I'm going to have this road extend further down to the docks I'm going to build over there. And then I need to get some terraforming done in this area because this is looking a bit janky at the moment. But it will look really good once I've got it done, hopefully. So, and I love walking through here. It looks so good. I'm very happy with how this has turned out. Okay, so one last thing. I just wanted to get this fence in here. So we've got, obviously this is a defensive structure. There should be something to stop people falling off. And then just get the same thing done at the back. And I think we can call this project done. So 
so there we go that is that project completely done and i am very happy with how this has turned out but unfortunately it's that time again and i have run out of time for recording for this episode so if you enjoyed it please remember to leave a like and if you want to see more please subscribe and i will see you again next time thanks for watching everyone bye bye